You would have seen my mother in last week's video where I interviewed her about my childhood because I wanted to try and recall a few things. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave a link to it up here so you can go back and watch it. This week, I've invited my mother back again because I want to interview her about her own childhood. If I felt that my childhood was such a long time ago and I don't recall much, I don't know how much she's going to be able to recall about her own childhood. But let's just give it a go, okay? It's very similar like last week, just 10 questions, short and sweet, just to recall how her childhood was and how different it was back then for her, for me, and probably even now. Are you ready? My childhood, I'm thinking what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will try it out. Yeah? Okay. We will have fun now. Before I start asking her any questions, just to give you a little bit of background, I'll let my mother talk about her brief uh, history of immigration and emigration. <laughs> yep. I born and brought up in India and I married to a Malaysian and I settled in Malaysia. Now I migrated to UK. I'm here in UK. This is my third destination. Anyway. <laughs> Probably the final one also. I think so. I don't know what yeah. is God's plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start then. What's your favorite childhood memory of your own childhood? Okay, my childhood memories. I have got a lot because I have grown up with my six siblings, so uh, I enjoyed that. That is my childhood memory. <laughs> so the siblings were the best part. My mother is the first amongst seven other siblings, so she's got four other sisters and two other brothers, and she's the eldest. Um, would you say that is your best because you are the eldest? From all the stories that I've heard from my aunties and uncles, my mother was a bit of a bully because she was the eldest. <laughs> Is it why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I'm the eldest and yeah, so that is the one I'm like a big boss over there. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> Those days we used to do the April 1st, April Fool Day. Oh, yeah. Uh, what so was that? Always they pack for, my, for me lunch and send it to me during the lunch time. Uh, so that April 1st day, my sister packed lunch and she sent it to a big diff different carrier in India. Oh, that was for April <laughs> 1st. Okay. April, April 1st. She put all, inside all the pencil box, pencil case and this <laughs> and that and all those things. She didn't pack lunch. <laughs> So she just sent it over. One o'clock, I was so hungry and I um, opened up this one. I was, I saw all those things. I was so angry. <laughs> Within five minutes, the lunchbox came in. <laughs> her brother came on a cycle to deliver her lunch for her. Yeah, yeah. So those are the things, my siblings, a lot of things like this. This is just to give you a one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just one of the stories that I've yeah. heard. I've heard a lot of stories about their childhood when they're growing up also. You're the oldest of seven siblings. So you don't know how it is like to be an only child like me. <laughs> if given a chance, would you prefer to be an only child? No, I don't think so. <laughs> because I've already had the experience of it's my siblings. Yeah. I, I don't think so. I, I want to be a only child. Okay. Anyway, you enjoy the only child. Yeah, <laughs> I actually enjoyed being the only child. I have no regrets whatsoever. I was really close growing up with my cousins, with my aunts, mm. uncles, mm. with everyone. We were somewhat a joint family. Yeah. But even when we were apart, um, like my mother said, I grew up in Malaysia because she got married and moved to Malaysia. And half my cousins were in India and half of them in Malaysia, mm. everywhere else. It's sometimes difficult to meet everyone, but even then, we had a very close bond um, amongst everyone in our family. So I have no regrets whatsoever being an only child at all. Yeah. What was it like growing up a long time ago? In the 60s and the 70s? <laughs> <laughs> very protective. Now they are giving so much of freedom. Mm. Those days, we don't have that much freedom. Mm. Uh, but I think we enjoyed the protection as well. Mm. Uh, that's true, in a way. What are you most proud of in your life? When I was doing my third year uni, I got married. So after marriage only, I finished my final exam. I achieved first grade. So oh, that is... That was a good one. How would your parents describe you? Very quiet, obedient, Such a big fat lie. <laughs> That's not even true. That's all an exaggeration. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> intelligent That's, girl, intelligent girl. <laughs> okay, probably my grandfather would say that, but mm. no, the very quiet and obedient, no, my grandparents <laughs> will never say that at all. 
<laughs> you, you ask your grandmother, she will say that. <laughs> But I think they pampered you a lot because you were the eldest. You were yeah. the first child. Yeah, yeah. So that's there for sure. Yeah. Because we're talking about childhood. Let's just go back to, you know, childhood or maybe college days or something. So what was the hardest decision you had to make? Yeah, because um, I, I have told you, like, I, I'm with my, we are big family with my siblings and parents and everything. After marriage, I have to migrate to Malaysia. Um, so that was the hardest time for me. I have mm. to leave everyone because it is not easy to see them. What is your biggest regret? Regret? Do you have any regrets? Yeah, I that? think so. I don't have any regret actually. Okay. What would make you happy when you were younger? With my uh, family. Okay. If you had a chance to do something differently during your childhood days, what would it have been? Mm, I think nothing. Hmm. Okay. Whatever I want, I got it. I have done it. See, Sorry. I told you she was pampered. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> she always had her way. <laughs> Do you have any advice for younger generation? Today's generation? Yes, of course. <laughs> what would that be? So, that is... Um, Not advice for me, yeah? <laughs> Just for public. <laughs> <laughs> no, younger generation, I always, I feel, because I have born and brought up in the big family, I always value family. Family values are more important to me. So nowadays, the younger generation, so you have to make it a point and make it an effort to value family. Mm. That's true. Mm. It takes a lot of effort to build up that relationship. It's like when I was growing up, I didn't have any other siblings, but I was close with the rest of my family because everyone made an effort mm. to keep in touch with everyone, yeah. isn't exactly. it? So despite the distance, um, we were still connected and we were still in touch. That's all. That's all the questions we have about your childhood. <laughs> How did you find it? Yeah, that's good. It was really, really nice reminiscing childhood, whether it was mine or my mother's. The generations are so different that mm. everything has changed so much between my mom and me. Yeah. And the younger generation now, when I look at my nieces and my nephews now, it's so much more different for them. They have a lot more freedom. Parents and grandparents are a lot more lenient now than they were before. It's just that things change with generation, doesn't it? Yeah. It's part and parcel of life that we accept and we move on also. Yeah, it's yeah. like you can't sit and wait for how life was in the past. You, you just cannot expect the same to be with every generation. Yeah. That's all I have for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did reminiscing about our own childhoods for both of us across our generations. Um, remember to subscribe and I will see you again in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.